All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to beat a Southpaw straight spammer. And this guy I'm facing here is probably one of the best at it. He's really, really good. Uh, he throws a straight straight spam to the body from the Southpaw position. Uh, and honestly, he's my rival because he's very tough to beat with this spam. And I look forward to playing him because his spam is that good. I like to put spammers on blast. That's what I'm about. So we're going to get into this video. I'm not going to play the whole fight. I'm going to show you the key moments where uh, y you can block and counter with a, uh, a straight of your own. All right. So some people say to go into a southpaw versus southpaw stance when you're facing a southpaw. I don't necessarily agree with that, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, here is my fighter, uh, almost at 6,000 wins, almost. So let's get into it. So you're going to see here he comes out, he throws a spam left hand obviously that's what he does and it's just all lefts right you're going to notice with him he throws most of his punches with his left power hand i caught him there right so how i'm going to attack him is uh staying on the outside planting my feet so not hitting the l stick and then throwing one twos after blocking his straight so i know easier said than done right but we're going to get into it um so i stunned him obviously so i'm going to keep rotating away from his power hand and stay out of range of that power left All right see I'm staying out of range keep your hand off the block to get distance and get away from him and then I'm just working the jab pumping away and all of this while he's doing all this he's draining his stamina right so I'm, I'm moving away blocking blocking he's throwing the one two so his thing is he likes to go jab left uppercut to the body what you just saw there and we're going to get into another defensive uh, approach to this so see whenever I throw he's so quick his punches beat mine because he's in that southpaw stance so my right hand is going to take a while to get under his left hand so some key points from round one obviously he's lunging here with that hook right so the plan is when he lunges and he does it with the straight left to the body, we haven't seen much of it yet, but he does. When he lunges, you want your fighter to be stationary. You want to take your hand off the left stick. So I'm out of range. My hand's off the left stick and I throw two straights right down the middle from a safe distance, right? So I'm stationary. I let go of the L stick and my punches land. Now, if you're moving backwards or forward or in any direction, your punch is not going to get to your opponent as fast as it does when you are stationary. So you want to make it a point to uh, also be stationary when you block. Um, don't be moving when you're blocking. It's the easiest way to block these punches, uh, and it's the, the best way to get a counter off. So like I said, I did a back step, stationary, straight, straight. And I'm going to throw a lot of straights this fight because that's all he throws. And unfortunately, you got to counter a straight spammer with straights. So this portion is going to cover the blocking to the body. So like I said, he likes that jab. And then he goes right to the body with the power uppercut. He throws a ton of left uppercuts, uh, straights and left uppercuts. So we're going to counter that by blocking. Now to block to the body, you want to hold the L trigger and push down like you're catching the punches. You want to try and catch the punch. So as the punch is coming in from the left, you want to push it down on the L stick while holding the block button as like you're catching it. So think of it like squeezing a baseball glove when the ball comes in. The ball hits your mitt, you squeeze it, right? So the punch comes in, you block, you try and catch that punch, uh, but you need to be stationary. Your fighter needs to be stationary. If you are moving backwards or to the side or any way, those punches are gonna get through, they're gonna land, uh, or they're gonna partially land, and it's gonna drain your stamina. So that's the key, right? So you wanna uh, get stationary, hold the block button as the punch is coming in, and push down on the L stick. So catch the punches uh, and do your best to block what you can. You're not going to block every punch, so I'm going get, gonna to get through. But the idea is that if you can block the majority of them and you land more than your opponent does, uh, you're going to have the advantage later on, especially in stamina, the stamina portion of the game. Uh, is huge so save your stamina let him gas out block these punches early and then you can be more aggressive later on in the fight 
So I was able to, to win rounds one and two pretty easily, uh, staying on the outside while trying to stay on the outside using the jab, letting him kind of gas out. Uh, but I know the pattern. It's going to be a jab left uppercut. That's what he likes to do. I'm going to stay on the outside and try and be as stationary as possible while I'm trying to block these punches. And then when I'm throwing back one twos, I'm going to try and do it flat footed. So I was able to win most of these rounds uh, just by doing that. Like look at him, he's just throwing, you know, wildly. So I'm throwing nothing but one twos. I'm not gassing myself out and I'm blocking uh, most of these shots that are coming in. So I'm going to fast forward to round seven. You can see here I'm up big on the cards. He's only won two rounds. Uh, and that was the third and fourth. And for most of the fight, I'm moving away from that power left hand. As you can see, I'm moving up away from the left because that's all he wants to throw. So I'm not going to give it to him, obviously. I'm going to you know, pump the jab, stay on the outside, and kind of let him gas out. Like, I already know I'm up on the cards. There's no reason for me to rush. So I'm just going to take my time, move away from that left hand, and let him you know, do what he has to do. So I'm going to play out round 9, but before we head to round 9, you can see I have 81% stamina. And I can guarantee you he does not have 81% stamina. He has, he has to be completely drained at this point. So I'm thinking like maybe 40s, 50s, 60s. And that's a huge advantage for me. That's like 20% more um, than what he has. So at this point, you know, I want to attack more than I've been doing. And the way to counter a spammer is to spam back. So you're going to see a lot of uh, straights to the body here. And you're going to notice when I throw the straight to the body, I'm not lunging like he does. I'm like kind of ducking down into it. Like I said before, if you are not moving your feet and you're throwing a straight to the body and the other guy's lunging, your straight is going to beat him every time. So I'm going to get stationary, block as many of these as I can, and try and be a little offensive at this point. So you see straight, straight, and they land because he's like reckless now. He's trying to push the action and he's not getting stationary to block while I am. So he's throwing these punches on the move, I'm blocking, and when I do throw, it's straight, straight, and they're getting there much faster than his punches are. So I'm gonna do a lot of spamming in this round to counter his spam, and they're all gonna land. So we're about a minute 30 left in the round, and as you can see, stay out of range. When he throws that left uppercut to the body, block down into it. So you're going to hit the block button and then the L stick down and kind of like forward like you're catching it, like I mentioned. So you see these straights I'm throwing. I'll throw like two or three at a time because I know he's gassed. And he probably can't hurt me at this point. So I'll do that angled uh, wing type of punch where you lean left and throw the straight up top right. I'll do that. Right, because that's how you have to beat these spammers. If you think you're going to beat a spammer straight up, it's very difficult. I mean, it's doable, but when you have a guy like this who's an expert at throwing nothing but uh, left uppercut and left straight from the southpaw, he's really tough to beat. I think I catch him here. I'm pretty sure it's this round. I catch him with a straight, and he goes down. So you see that one, two, how it landed, and he moved back. So I can tell he's hurt, and he's gassed, so maybe that did some uh, damage there. So I guess the knockdown came in the 10th round, but there's him. He's all cut up, beat up, and that's how the fight is going. I got 12% recovery, so I'm at 79% stamina going to the 10th, so I can be offensive-minded here. And what you're going to see him do is, I don't know if it's a, a pride thing, he knows he's down on the cards, but for some reason, he doesn't want to try and win the fight. So he's going to go, he's going to start running away and backpedaling. Partly because he knows he's gassed and all I have to do is hit him with a decent shot and he's going to go down. Um, but, I mean, hey, you don't want to try and win the fight. That's up to you. And also, you can see his punches are much slower than how they were early on. Um, before we were trading, he was landing before I was. Now I'm clearly faster than him. Um, so, see, my hook is landing. That's a big overhand right that lands. So I can be more aggressive here because I've earned it. I've been defensive all fight. And we're coming into the 10th. I know I have him, he knows I have him, and I could really be a bully at this point if I wanted to, right? But the fear with this guy is because he spams that straight so often. You don't want to get caught and get flash knocked out, so uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid here. But see, he's just working the jab, moving away from me. He's not trying to win the fight. This fight's already wrapped up. It's crushed by a huge oh, yeah. big, big shot comes crashing home. You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. 
So I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. You can see how aggressive I get and how he has no interest in winning the fight. He's just running away. Um, but it is what it is. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized on this. All right. Subscribe for more videos. Like the video. Thanks a lot. I'll also upload the full fight. I'll put that on my channel. So if you want to check out the full fight, you can do that. This is more of like a tutorial type of video, a how-to on fight night. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Left to the body. Blocks the headshot. Fires right back at him. Well, which way did it go? That is the question everybody wants the answer to. The man with the answer is standing in the ring.